What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Bun for a Five. That's right. We're back again with another episode where I take a game that was in my collection or as a pickup or something like that, and I play for it, play with it for five minutes, and see if I can find the fun within that five. Now, today's episode might be a little bit of a cheat because it's one of my favorite games of all time on the arcade it is boom hard driving on the genesis yeah yeah all right i'm super excited to play this um i have never actually played this version of the game um as many know that are friends and stuff like that i am a huge fan of hard driving in the arcade so let's no further ado grabbing this hyper, hyper king controller and let's uh get on in and see what's going on all right cool so here we are we got the screen we got the music going it's looking pretty decent i'm i'm psyched what about you guys so all right let's hit this button here all right traffic good 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 medium difficulty all right, let's just do it. Can I just hit the start button? Boom, start. Start. Uh, we're going to go with auto because, <clears throat> uh, you know, turn key to start. Press start button. All right. All right, so. All right, it looks like A is the, the go button. So we're going to do a speed track first. Because uh, I'm just gonna figure out what's going on. I don't wanna run into anybody. Whoa, whoa, okay. Alright, so the controls are a little loose, a little fast and loose with the controllies. Alright. So, it could be the fact that I'm using this Hyperkin controller, not positive. It could just be the little screen or some of the other things going on. I'm all over the place in this thing. Um, but so far, you know, performance-wise, it's pretty good. You know, I can see the, I can see the blocky cars coming at me. I'm having a good time. I'm doing my thing. <coughs> the, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> the controller is, like I said, it's a little. See, it feels a little loose. Like it's too sensitive. Um, so I might try a, a Genesis controller later <coughs> on a long play or something like that. <clears throat> Man. Man. It really doesn't want to <clears throat> let me settle in here. <clears throat> but it does look like I'm going to make the checkpoint. Which is good. Give me extra time. <clears throat> so, um, as some know, but maybe not all, um, hard driving has two tracks. The aforementioned speed track, which is what I'm on right now, and the stunt track, which is pretty cool, but, you know, nothing for, you know, if you're playing this game for the first time and you're like, you know, like, how do I, how do I get uh, involved here and, you know, am I going to, you know, have a good time playing this game in five minutes? I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to have a good time <clears throat> if you try to go stunt track right away. But, I do have a little bit of experience with this game, so we're going to try. I'm going to run out of time for sure. Um, I'm going to run out of time for sure, but we're going to try the stunt track. Because the stunt track has like all the cool things, right? you got to jump you can go through, um, but you got to make sure that you're not like going like, to annihilate yourself. There's a little jump, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, you got the... Uh, loop to loop I'm starting to I'm starting to get a little bit uh, more uh, in tuned okay so it doesn't <clears throat> it's a little different from the arcade version the arcade version will let you uh, when you run out of time it'll let you glide to the end um, but uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do this Ooh, see see look at that that was a little it's a little sensitive right so maybe it's the controller. Did it help? It didn't. It didn't let me get 
didn't want to get there. So, <clears throat> anyway, it's a uh, it's a good time. I'm having fun. Um, but anyway, back to the the uh, the start track and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Um, so let's go to the stunt track and see if we can if we can do this. So everything does seem a little sensitive to the game. You got to have like light touch, light feather. You actually, got to watch your speed. Um, the the suggestions for um, speed on the um, on the screen are not uh, are not to be trifled with, to be honest. Uh, they say 60 miles an hour when you go into the jump. Don't hit that thing at uh, 80 or 110 or whatever, because you're gonna have a bad day. Um, and also, don't underpower yourself either. Oh no! All right, here we go. Um, but yeah, yeah, don't don't mess around with that stuff because it, it's uh, it's no good. Where's the truck? Is the truck coming down? Usually, there's a truck here in the arcade version. Oh, I ran off the ran off the track. I love I love it. I love all that. All right, there we go. So, um, let's try to go through the loop the loop again. We're trying. We're trying to trying to do it. Ooh, just passed the truck. All right. Whoa, we're coming up hot on that. Whoa. Yeah, that was that was too much. See, you come off the loop to loop too high, and you get burned. You get burned. So, I mean, it's pretty accurate to the to the arcade version. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that you actually have pedals and such on the uh, on the arcade pad. Uh, or on, on the uh, the actual arcade system, right? You know, you get pedals, you got force feedback on your uh, on your steering wheel, um, and you're not getting any of that here. Um, <clears throat> it is definitely uh, way more sensitive than the arcade, but you know, you know what, do you, what, do you, what do you want? You know, they're porting this huge arcade game back in the day for um, for the Genesis, and they're uh, you know, just kind of jam it in a cart, and you know, kind of surprised actually runs. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so, um, I got clipped by the truck. Um, just about made it to the finish line on that, and then uh, let's see, let's see where my score is. Is it enough? It's enough for second place. All right, so you get the triple A. You get the triple A for that. But um, but yeah, so. Um, that's pretty much that. That's five minutes. Let's go see. Did I find the fun or not? <clears throat> well, guys. <clears throat> so, did I find the fun here in hard driving on the Genesis? The box over here. This guy right here. Did I find the fun in hard driving on the Genesis? Yes. Of course. It's one of my favorite games of all time in the arcade. Of course I've had fun. I had fun playing. Um, this is definitely going to be a long play game that I'm going to play some more because I want to get some high score action going on. See if I can get see if I can get up to my, my normal. My normal at the actual arcade, if I'm sitting down at a terminal, um, is I, I am just under that 100K mark. I can't break six digits yet on, a, on, a, uh, on one of these cabinets, and I've tried everywhere. Um, and I've, I've played it... Um, uh, which I'm gonna call it. Um, Yestercades in Somerville, New Jersey. I've played at their hard driving machine. They had, I think they actually moved it, but they used to have one in Red Bank. I don't know if they have that that there anymore. But I was in the '90s there, in the '90s there in Somerville, and the '90s in Fun Spot in Laconia, New Hampshire, the world's largest arcade, which is awesome. If you've never been there, that's a totally awesome place to go to play some games. I don't know if they have their hard driving cabinet up and running. Uh, last time I went there was a good three years ago now. Um, it wasn't up and running, so the tears the tears flowed because, man, it was one of my favorite games. But they did have Duck Hunt for uh, my wife, Danae. She's a huge Duck Hunt fan. And uh, very soon, behind me, this, this way, right there, that Legends arcade cabinet, yeah, the Legend Ultimate cabinet, it's going to have some really awesome stuff, which might include versus duck hunt but we'll see about that later that's another video somewhere else but did i find the fun yes 
because it's hard driving. Of course you found the phone. That's how this whole thing works. Um, and I had fun sharing it with you. I hope you guys had fun uh, watching with me. And uh, hit me up in the comments below if you want to see more of this particular game. You want me to do a long play? Do you want me to do a uh, you know a live stream? Uh, play it and chat with you guys. Totally down with all that. Um, hit me up. Let me know. And um, you know, hopefully you guys had some good times. Um, and speaking of good times, be sure to check out all of my buddies. Check out Chris the Atari Creep over at his channel. He's doing awesome stuff for the Walk Dead Alzheimer's. Links in the description below. We're doing this whole big campaign. Very, very soon, we're going to be announcing some very awesome goodness for you. Um, it's very exciting. Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button here on this channel. And of course, go over, if you don't know who Chris is and you have never been in the Atari Creep channel, go in there, hit that, hit subscribe on him, and do all the cool things and help him out because it's awesome. Also, shout out to my buddy, OAB Pete, who is a, the host of the Evercast on his channel, where we play this fun little device, the Evercade, and have great times um, talking about it. We're going to be talking about Atari Lynx Collection 2, that's this guy right here, very soon, um, and uh, that'll be awesome. So go over and check out his channel, you know, and then you'll see me on Saturdays in the early morning, 11 a.m. EST. That's 8 a.m. in the PST. So if you're in the California area and you just woke up and you want some cool retro video game fun, check out the Evercast, man. It's awesome. It's good times. So speaking of good times, that is it for right now. We will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. We will see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Team RTFC.BaconIceCream.com